Hi folks, Draco Draco's Quest here. If your screen's cracked, my apologies, I've got a face for radio. I'm trying something new on YouTube for once. This is a personal complaint about my own stupidity. Allow me to elaborate. Somewhere around uh, 1979 or, yeah, 1979, around May, I was in Phoenix, Arizona, hitchhiking across this great country of ours. Now, I spent two days out in the middle of Bumprak, Egypt, in Arizona. Got to Phoenix, I had two choices. Either camp on the street near the Salvation Army or try to get a bed at the Salvation Army. I thought of this while I was donating plasma to get some money. I donated my plasma, got my money, and I went to the Salvation Army and got a room, got a bed for that. I wanted to say room there, but bed. And I need to grab me a shower, which I was able to do. And they fed me quite nicely. Anyway, while I was in the shower, I, on my bed, I had my clothes laid out, fresh clothes, along with my wallet. I left it there, unattended, for about 10 minutes while I showered. Come back, and there's this guy. He's standing over my wallet. And I look, and then, oh, all my money's there. My ID and everything else is there. And he says, next time you leave that wallet, I'm going to kick your butt. And he points to my, not my wallet, but what was in my wallet, my ID, was extremely, he said, that's, ex that's the most important thing right there. Because if you ain't got that, somebody else does, they can get themselves arrested, they can get themselves charged with something, and you can wind up having to be arrested for it years or months down the line. He was right. So after that, I've always kept close track of my wallet and my ID, especially my ID and social security card and stuff. Now we're going to come to this. This is my current wallet. Now, uh, yesterday, I went on a long trip. I live in liberal Kansas. And that was just some stuff I got put back up. No big deal. And we went from, I went from liberal to uh, Garden City, about 45 miles due north of where I am now, about an hour and a half drive. The son wanted to do some golfing, so I went with him to make sure he got there and back. Anyway, uh, got careless, got stupid, and uh, lost this wallet. Now, we went to only three places. The golf course. Uh, Popeye's Chicken. That was the golf course, Popeye's Chicken. The golf course in Garden City, Popeye's Chicken in Garden City. And then on the way back, we stopped at a gas station about halfway in a place called Sublet. And when I got home, I didn't notice it till after I got home that I'd lost my wallet. Now, there are some extremely important documents in here. My ID, my medical card, my bank card, my dog's identification as a service animal, and my social security card, which to my surprise, I still have. I'll explain. So when I noticed my wallet missing, I called uh, Liberal PD to report my wallet missing. So I can get a report number so I can get all new identification, all new everything all over again. Because there has to be a report in order to not have to pay all the fees again. At least in California. I don't buy here because I didn't have to do it here. At any rate... 
And then they said, well, call up to uh, uh, Garden City, and I did. And I spoke with an ICE officer, and as I'm, as I'm calling him and talking to him, he called, and he says, and he takes the initial report, gives me an IR number, report number, which I could have actually guessed how that IR number went. Uh, and then I also called Liberal PD and reported to them, and then they suggest I call them, call Garden. And I'm figuring, I'm just running the checklist about, that all took about five, ten minutes at most. And as I'm thinking of who I have to call about my wallet come Monday, uh, actually it would have been today, and I thought today, I thought yesterday was Friday, and uh, I would have called them today, if I, but I'll explain. Uh, about 20, about within the hour, I'd say, the officer from Garden called me back. And he says, uh, someone's found your wallet on there posting it on Facebook. I'll have that over here in the corner somewhere, hopefully soon. If not, uh, there's a picture of me, uh, my driver's license, I'm uh, not my driver's license, my ID, and a picture of um, sitting on top of my wallet. And I started looking for it on Facebook, I can't find it. But uh, he gave me the phone number of an individual to call. I call him, and I got a surprise. Mild one, but a surprise. And that was one thing. The man's name who I'm calling was named Jose. Okay. So I call Jose up. He says that his father's found it at uh, the Popeye's Chicken, because I've called uh, both Popeye's Chicken and the uh, rest stop gas station where we stopped on the way back in Sublette. Neither had it. And the officer even went to the Popeye's, according to him. And by the way, that officer and the ones here in Liberal went up and beyond the call. At any rate, says his father found it in the parking lot at Popeye's. And he texted, and I asked him, if, I forgot to ask him, I should say, for him to text his parents' address to me. I texted him, hey, what about your parents' address? He sent, then sent me the text. A little while ago, I just got back from Garden City. I had to take a nap because this is a beast to carry. At any rate, I'm sitting there, and I'm because his name's Jose, so he tells me he's 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 Hispanic, and he says his father found it, and I says, okay, great, I'll be up there today. I said tomorrow, but I'll be you know I just got back from there. Any rate, I get there, and turns out his parents are from Mexico. I'm not going to post where or anything. In fact, I've even I kind of blocked everything out on the picture. It should be over here soon. Anyway, uh, get to my, get to the address that was given to me. There was this nice lady standing on the porch waiting for me to show up. And she goes in, sees me, and she goes in, comes back out, and hands me my wallet. Now, all my identification, everything, cards, everything, in my wallet. No problem. And I had a small amount of cash, money. I uh, was completely and totally surprised. In fact, in my Spanish, I says, "Es todo, not a key. Everything's there. 
because we have a former orangutan as president. I can't, will not say his name on this tape because it just drives me up a wall. Uh, who lives at Marlardo, Florida, who is orange in nature and color and related to orangutans, at least according to Bill Maher. Anyway, it says that uh, Mexico is sending us their worst. I beg to differ. Yes, there are some bad apples in every barrel. Doesn't matter which one it is. Doesn't matter where that barrel is made of apples. There are bad people in every bunch. And I should know. I'm a private retired security officer. And I did that job for 15 years in places that most people wouldn't go, including a couple of SWAT teams I know, unless they had to. And that's not a joke, by the way. And there's only one place I refused, but that's for another story, another video. Anyway, I was not surprised to find my wallet and that well, I was surprised to find that somebody found it, turned it in. I thought I was going to have to go through all the formality. But I was not surprised to find everything in it, let alone the cash. And it wasn't that much. It was only like less than $49 uh, $39 that I had in here. And I asked where she was from, and she said Mexico. And I asked her where her husband was. She said yes. So... To the former not president of the United States, and I hope never will be again, you lied, and I have proof now. Mexico is not sending us their worst. The United States have enough people who are worse than what has come across the border. And like I said, I should know, I've seen them, I've harassed them and I've thrown them in jail actually not thrown them in jail I detained them and then law enforcement picked them up and they put them in jail on my word because I was willing to sign the complaint sheet so usually and most of the time they didn't even need me to sign they just need me to explain what happened and they went bye bye so I thank the individual. Um, like I say, I'm going to leave their names out of it and exactly where they are because I don't want them to be harassed, harangued, or belittled for any shape or reason. But I did leave it, I did say that I owed the man a beer and I paid for that beer so he could have one on me, which is not a courtesy it is a sign of respect now just for the record most people don't know anything about farm labor i've done some and granted it was just chopping cotton but for anybody who was in the military especially army rangers or army special forces of any kind the place I did this farm labor work was chopping cotton near Patton's Hell. Now, if anybody knows anything about Patton's Hell, let me give you a little history lesson. George Patton took his marine, his tank division there to train before he took him to Africa. And when I passed through there back in 79, by the way, it's near Yuma, Arizona. Uh, they found the last two missing men who were probably charged with desertion, knowing Patton. Charged with desertion, knowing Patton. And uh, their families probably got, got to put those boys to rest and also probably got all their back pay. They were never discharged formally.
and the army had to eat that. That so, anyway, uh, these places that people do farm labor is not a picnic. It's backbreaking, and messing with that cotton, my hands got caught, cut up to hell and back. So I have, a, I had a respect for anyone who did that type of work, and believe me. They earned that. That's how they are, how I give respect. So, again, and last words, I thank the individual who found my wallet and returned it to me intact. None of the documents are missing. And from what I can see, the only thing they took out to show me that it was mine was my my ID. That was it. Everything's exactly where I've left it for months, including the cash money and two charge and two documents here that prove that I paid my fines. Now I have this proof. Like I said. The orange-haired orangutan that is our ex-not president can kiss my shiny white ass. And if you want my vote, which is, I'm willing to sell it to you, $8.5 million payable within 10 minutes of posting this, and I'll vote for you. But since that's not going to happen, you can go frack yourself. Thank you.